Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we entered the Makana's Core and destroyed the Apocrypha Generator, granting Shulk a new Monado art, actually, which I guess would make sense considering the circumstances. He got Monado Cyclone, which uh, topples everything with break in an area, which is actually pretty good, but I don't know if I want to... Wow, it does a lot of damage, actually, so maybe I do. Well, whatever the case may be. I definitely have enough AP to get uh, armor to level 10 and not enough to get Buster to level 10, unfortunately. But hey, what are you going to do? What does all of us have to say? We will be here. This is your fight now. Conduct it as you see fit. We will talk again when it is over. And Dixon, you look like you know, you look like you mean business. I know you can handle it. Off you go then. Stop that eggle once and for all. Well, if you say so, let's go. So, you worms have finally arrived. Egil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis! May the roar of the Maconis. Be the wrath of my people! How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Egil! You'll regret this! Brother! Stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse by destroying the world! You must realize that is not Lady Maynard's wish. That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world! Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need. For gods! Egil! Stop this! Face me, Shulk, successor of Xander. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. Let's get things started. I'm gonna use this party. Seems like an appropriate party to use. Maybe have Dunban instead of Melia, but whatever. So get things started. I want to get my talent gauge up because I definitely want to show Monado Cyclone. Um, yeah, I don't even want to bother using Monado Cyclone. Uh, not Cyclone. Uh, what do I want to say? Battle Soul. All right. Let's use Monado Cyclone. Honestly, it probably wasn't. Whoa, okay, let me heal. It probably wasn't the best time to use that, but I mean, I'm glad I showed it. <laughs> I probably could have picked a better time to do that, but whatever. With that being said, I'm just going to start spamming stuff now because I use Shadow Eye and I probably won't take any aggro. And I'm much more useful using arts than just auto attacking endlessly. Um, I want to build my uh, party talent gauge back up so I could use my Buster this time and actually do damage. There you go, 20,000. That's a bit better. Um, I could use a heal. Actually, Melia could probably use a heal a lot more than Shulk, but that's okay. This is going pretty well so far, actually. I don't think Fiora's taken a single hit yet. And now she definitely won't, because I'm taking the aggro. We have Bionis slash 10. So, with that, we get Save Bionis. We need to de defeat the three energy devices around Yaldabaoth. So, what I'm going to do, or what you want to do, is have your... Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you have to... You want to... Guys, can we attack this? We need to attack these things. They don't attack you back, so... Melia, hello. Okay, I don't care about that thing. Go away. Uh, <laughs> you can just avoid that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe using Monado Buster on these things wouldn't be a bad idea either. Where is Melia? What is she doing? Oh, boy. Let's be using Monado Buster. Kill that thing. Just get the Burst of Fin, even though it doesn't really matter. I'm going to avoid these guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Still don't know what the hell Melly is doing. Oh, does she have bind? No, she doesn't. I thought she was bound. I don't know. Whatever. These things don't attack, so I'm just going to start spamming stuff. 
Or Shulk can die. Okay, great. Uh, Melia? Oh, okay, Melia's dead too. Oh. Fiora, Fiora, come here. Fiora, Jesus Christ. We're so close to killing this thing. Oh my god, she can't get around it. She can't get around it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> We're good. Okay. There you go. Alright, so I didn't even realize you would be dazed. Okay, let me revive Melia, Jesus. Okay. Let's go back to Yaldabaoth. Can we please focus our efforts, guys? That'd be good. Um, okay, here we go. Melia! Jesus! Melia really does not want to cooperate today, does she? Goodness. Rush. Okay. Um, I'll use Minato's speed, maybe. Think. Oh, wait, what the hell? Okay, that was weird. Alright, where's Minato's speed? Uh, speed. On. Oh, never mind. Jesus Christ. No, I'm just gonna use Minato Buster. This is going. This is so weird. Like, why is. The AI is just not cooperating at all. Okay, whatever. We finished them off. Incredible. Whoa. What you want? Yes, I want to. I'll kill him for Fiora, for the Emperor, for my home. You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did you for even brain. Kill a Homs to beat I us. Want you I once wished only I to break the circle of stop. suffering. Until I've he scrapped each and every one of you! Mena, the villagers, the yes. everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. End it. The way it is what so you want. To Mena and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know, but I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil. Why do you think we were born? 
Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds, worlds we have never imagined, by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Meconis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas and he became Zanza. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shouldn't have done that, little brat. Shulk! Dixon! Why? Why, old man? Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's... Disciple. Zanza's Disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. 
As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return! Shulk! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! I won't let you do this! Zanza! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us! All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that Grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All of it. Evil! Yeah! Ah! <sighs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, 
The destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynath. The Maconics! Bionis moves! Uh. I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Sansa! Brother! Stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Xanda. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. Ha! Then you shall cease to exist. By the wrath of my blade! It's... the Monado! The meaning of wrath! What? It's finished! could put their differences aside! Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right! Now! Yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned! Finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! Uh, <laughs> uh, double wind! Your history! Uh, 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 <laughs> is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Everything's gone blurry. I feel stronger. Is that all you've got? I'm not gonna lose. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Double blade! We're not getting anywhere. Oops. I feel like I could beat anyone. 
We're not getting huh. anywhere. Double blade. Is that all you've Double got? Spears blade. Is that all you've got? You're out of here. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Everything's gone blurry. Is that all you've got? <laughs> I can do it! I know I can! Is that a- Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god! And you talk of sharing this world with me! So that's why... The dead boy is important to you. The Homs are nothing but bacteria, clinging to my body! They are living beings! If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god? Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god made of it. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! Fiora! <laughs> Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Zanza! Maynus! Such a fool. This is... What I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. This is the passage of fate. Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation!
entrusted to me by Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh, now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Negil, go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. Ah. Uh, you okay? Yes. 